most of us essentially want two things in this life. On the one hand, we want to be able to be effective, to cope, and contribute to others. Also, we want to be happy in a deep and fundamental sense of well-being, fulfillment, and contentment. The question is, how do we do that? Most people tend to look for causes outside themselves. You know, if I just have the right job or right relationship or right closet space, then I'll be truly happy and then I'll be able to be effective. There's a place for that. But research shows, and certainly personal experience shows, that the major sources of effectiveness and well-being come from inside ourselves. So I've focused my life and my career on the actual how of growing the good inside yourself, to be resilient, to be determined, to be effective, and to have that inner skills, including emotional intelligence, so that no matter what's happening in the world around you, you can maintain a fundamental well-being in your own core. One of the keys to this process of developing the good inside yourself is becoming more skillful, frankly, in changing your brain for the better because the brain is the organ that's designed to be changed by our experiences. And because of its so-called negativity bias, it's very vulnerable to being changed for the worse. Or as I put it, the brain is like Velcro for bad experiences, but Teflon for good ones. And that's why it's so important for us to take action inside ourselves, to make efforts inside ourselves, skillful efforts to orient to beneficial experiences that are authentic and then maximize their helpful impact in lasting changes of neural structure and function. And I've created all kinds of tools for doing that. The essence of it is really, really simple, but we have to do it multiple times a day, which is to rest ourselves in what's beneficial, that's real, and then draw it into ourselves. The wonderful thing is that no one can stop you from doing that. No one, no matter how tough your life, can prevent you each day from learning a little bit, becoming a little more skillful, becoming a little more capable, becoming a little happier. The other side of the truth, which gives the first truth some real teeth and traction, is that no one can do it for you. Only you can help yourself grow into who you hope to become. And as we exercise this power to grow, and to grow more of the good inside ourselves, then we have more and more and more that we can offer to others and the whole wide world.